Greetings Inquisitors, welcome to the Holocron. This is the week 123 update for the Darth Loquitor account. Update this account's progress every week, go through all the characters, ships, mods, datacrons, all the things we're working on so that people could follow along. If you like this kind of stuff, please hit that like button. Helps me, helps the channel. I would appreciate it if you could click that, get out your like saber and take care of it real quick. All right, let's get into the account and see what happened this week. Relic project was for Lando to get relic in week 123. So here we go. Take him to relic three and then immediately start second guessing whether, whether Relic 3 is the right thing. It doesn't give me the quest completion upgrades on this, so I keep going out here making sure, yes, indeed, it is Relic 3. We're going to leave him there for now. We may take him up more Relic levels at some point in the future, but for right now, that's where he's going to be parked. Finally got this uh, 50 RT to uh, 7 stars. I do want to take it to gear 12 and still want to mess around with this in Conquest. Uh, that last gear tier was very expensive in terms of um, golden eyeballs and other things that uh, are useful in the account. So after we click that button, we go through and look and indeed almost every character that I want to level up is now held back by golden eyeballs or Mark IV comlinks. Uh, we do manage to get a couple more tiers on Droidica. Working toward that gas unlock at some point here in the near future. Kind of casually doing that in the background. We've been farming this resistance hero fin node uh, just for the extra uh, Carbantes off of that node. But we're in pretty good shape on Carbantes, so we're going to kick him off the farming routine now. Iden Versio is not fully farmed up. And she is a character that we could use someday, so we'll put her into the farming routine instead. In terms of uh, her ship, we're going to go ahead and unlock that. I don't know why I haven't unlocked it up to this point. But uh, we're going to add a ton of galactic power because, of course, as soon as you unlock a ship and start adding skills and stuff, it uh, you can see there 34,000 galactic power already. And it's going to be even more after we bring up the skills. So we take a look at these skills. We have some uh, ship Omega materials, so we spend everything on this and make an almost 40,000 galactic power ship. Uh, there, it's at 40, 40,000 galactic power with the reinforcement abilities. So, okay. Uh, so Aiden, we can farm up to seven stars. She's been a useful character for us. It'd be nice to get her relic someday, so we'll do that. Uh, I, I looked at the time that I spent on mods. It was uh, 21 minutes for the whole week for my modding. I got six more speed onto um, um, uh, Mara Jade. I got six more speed on Mara Jade, but that was about it for my, uh, <laughs> for my mod work for the week. It was pretty disappointing, but uh, you know, some weeks are like that, so we worked on a bunch of stuff and didn't really get a whole lot of good things. Uh, so now we're working on Datacrons. We did farm some Datacron stuff extra from Conquest. So here we get uh, a level 3 skill. I think there's better level 3 skills. Um, I still think there's better level 3 skills. And in the end, we picked this one um, with damaging uh, characters four times. Hoping for something that we could use with a character like Nest. And we get Smugglers, so... That starts to look like something we could use potentially with Dash Rendar, for example. Uh, or maybe uh, Enfys Nest or, or something. So it gives us some options. We get another Datacron to four, and then that's pretty much all we're going to get out of, this, uh, out of this round of stuff. All right, so going back to the account information for the week. Week 123, we've got 5.88 million galactic power. Approaching 6 million galactic power in this account. Hard to believe. 65 relics, 78 Zetas, 10 Omicrons, JMK team still getting us top 10 in the squad arena. Fleet arena, we can get top 5 with our profundity. Grand arena got kicked back down to Erodium 2. We're trying to work our way back up to Kyber now. And the project is Re Rebel Officer Leia Organa for week 120. Five, two weeks from now. So we got that uh, robot finished up, so we're adding Aiden to the regular energy farms. 
In Fleet, we're still farming that Sith Fighter. Again, Mark IV com links. Even though I'm farming them every day on this node, buying them out of the shops, you saw I still ran out of them in my upgrades for the week. So we need some of those. Cantina, we're working on signal data. Uh, we're working on Sana, but with uh, Jedi Knight Luke coming up in a couple weeks, I have to make sure that I get enough relic pieces uh, for the Rebel Officer Leia Organa and also uh, for Luke because we're going to try to get him to relic relatively quickly if we can. All right, so for mods, we're going to do offense mods five days a week next week, slicing materials on the weekend. That's our new plan going forward. Refresh strategy is to get three on everything, and then in the rest of the shops, we're feeding the shard shop and looking for good gear. Uh, Jedi Knight Luke, hopefully in two weeks, finishing up this Rolo, should be able to get Luke. I was looking at the team, and uh, maybe it's better even to try uh, a slow Luke team with Luke in the lead. There's this uh, uh, fun thing you can do with a fast turn at Yoda. You pass a turn over to Jedi Knight Luke, and then you slow down the opposing team and nerf their speed. I don't know if that's something that uh, that I'm going to want to do, but uh, we could play around with that. We could play around with the Jedi Knight Revan team. We could see how Luke works. It'll be a while before we get his team to full relics, so we'll, we'll play around with it. And, uh, yeah, so time to farm some more offense mods and try to get... Uh, get him ready and I still need better mods on my dark trooper I looked again for good dark trooper mods and there's uh, th there's some improvements that he could get by stealing from other characters but overall we kind of lack good offense mods so I'm gonna hit that up for a few weeks try to get some better offense mods back in the account um, 2023 20, planning so we're going to do this Jedi Knight Luke. We are working on that gas journey in the background. We'll get Jabba the Hutt done. I'm farming the Rex for Afra, And then after that, we'll see. I'll probably go right into JML, but maybe build Starkiller sometime this year. We'll have to take a look at things. And, of course, by then there may be new content out. There may be something that's more exciting to, to chase. But, uh, yeah, I think Jabba into JML makes sense. Um, so we'll, we'll probably do that, but... It, it, what we do in between or if we do anything in between depends on what happens between now and then in the game all right so that's it for week 123 in the account very little progress we got one click uh, on 50 rt and then just you know some miscellaneous other stuff in the background so uh, overall pretty disappointing but we did end the week with extra carbantes for the first time in a long time we actually have about 250 Carbantes left in our bank that aren't used. And uh, uh, that that's the first time in probably the existence of this account that we haven't actually been uh, short on Carbantes. So we'll start, uh, uh, you know, working on stun guns a little bit more from the farming routine, see if we can find another comlink node, uh, maybe farm a hard node for comlinks with our regular energy as well. Uh, we'll take a look at that in the coming week. All right, thank you all for watching. Appreciate each and every one of you. If you got comments, things you like, things you don't like about how I'm building this account, please leave that in the comments down below. I always love to hear from you all. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff like, in the, uh, like this in the future. And of course, hit that like button on the way out if you didn't hit it on the way in. We've also got fantastic Discord. The link is in the description down below. Click that, come over, join our community. Even if you're not a talkative person, you could just hang out, listen to what other people are saying, and uh, learn a lot about the game. Hope to see you over there. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next Holocron.